So I will call the meeting to order. Uh, I note that uh, Koki and Taro both wrote that they can't attend today, so they will be absent. Um, I've asked Mark if he will get the minutes out to us uh, within a week, within this week, so that we can have time to digest and possibly suggest things for the next meeting. Um, and he said that's okay. Uh, I think that's all. So we'll go in order. Um, Kayla, or would you like to comment on your responses? Sure. So I reached out to Patrick at the Goodwin Library for a second time, and he responded, from a programming standpoint, I can't really say that we've held specific events on the topic beyond our book club having possibly touched on these subjects. I interpret our own mission statement as being compatible with the goals of your committee and that we offer a venue for cultural events and discussion that is broad-based and socially diverse. At a collection level, I believe we have done a fairly good job of adding titles of interest on subjects that would be relevant to your committee's mission, and we're happy to help in facilitating any research activities or accessing materials and information as you need it. Excellent. Great. And when they're in the new library, I think they'll get a lot more people coming there and uh, <clears throat> could be a place to disseminate information as well. Any other comments? And I was just also thinking that, that maybe book discussion groups would be the kind of thing that would really further the work that we want to do. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, perhaps even sponsored discussions uh, open to the public mm -hmm. as well. Margaret? I, I actually like the idea about researching too. I mean, I, I think there's a data collection that probably needs to happen and boy, to have the skills of someone who's used to doing that in terms of public records and stuff um, would be helpful. Good. So it sounds like you had a great productive uh, exchange there with, with him, Kayla. And, and when I talk with him on the phone, I can really hear the enthusiasm in his, in his voice. He seems really excited to see what happens with, with this and very supportive. Great. So I think we can count the library as an ally of what we're doing. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Uh, hearing no other comments, I think we'll move on. Uh, Andrea? Sure. Uh, um, so I thought that one of the things we may have touched upon and gotten some consensus on was um, having an equity report card for the town. Um, so this would be um, you know, if you could envision sort of a, um, again, I guess a way to initially benchmark some uh, key indices or metrics that would be decided upon um, around human resources, um, education, um, organizational structure, and 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 you know. Um, just different aspects of our town and town government. government. Um, this would be a way for the select board to be able to internally understand how the town is doing in terms of diversity of, um, you know, these various indices um, and you know, could also be a way for the town externally to communicate that. So it could be in something like our annual report um, that we share or choose to share aspects of. Um, 
I know in talking with Annie McKenzie, the superintendent of the school, there's a decent amount of information already that needs to be tracked for the Department of Education. Um, Amy, I'm sure you could speak more to that under knowing that uh, um, side of things. Um, I, I know that the, human, the new human resources um, director for the town is interested in, um, you know, can, being able to set um, uh, some kind of um, metrics for, you know, how well our um, employees, how, how the diversity of our employees in the town um, compare to the area. Um, so I thought this could be, you know, already in talking with people on the committee and other people in the town, it seems like an area of where the committee could have a, uh, a role in helping to create a document like this that the town could then use, um, again, to sort of benchmark and, you know, understand in a snapshot, I guess, and maybe even more in depth where we stand on certain areas of diversity and then, you know, be able to sort of come up with strategies to improve. Um, I, I'm just assuming that we're going to have, you know, maybe not the most diverse. And so, you know, coming up with um, some strategies for um, improving that. So um, I'm on another diversity committee for uh, a national trade association, and we are just uh, at the end point of going through something like this. Um, it's taken about a year to develop. Um, and I thought that it is something that seems like, um, it doesn't seem like the sexiest thing to do, but I think it is an important document, an important thing to track um, and could really overall make some big changes. It, but we don't, we don't know what those changes are gonna be and how to do it unless we actually start looking at real data. Andrew, do you have a model for the kind of document this might be and an idea for where it should be posted and when? Um, I mean, I think it's similar to like, I mean, I do have an example. I have several examples. I've looked at several examples. Um, I think it's going to really be determined by, you know, if we decide to form a committee um, it'll really be um, decided upon by that committee. But, you know, I would say it's going to include, you know, what, what do we consider the key indices? So, again, I mentioned HR, education, some of the, you know, the diversity of the vendors that we work with. The town spends an incredible amount of money every year. Are we spending that money on, in a, you know, um, in, a di in an equitable way? Um, so, you know, different, different, you know, understanding those indices, then under, then coming to an agreement on where, what do we consider to be successful or non-compliant? So, you know, that's really going to be, um, and then how, how are, where are we digging this information from and who's responsible for digging up that information? So I would say in terms of, you know, what we've worked on for the other organization I'm a part of, um, those are really the, the three columns that our document has, is the indices, who's responsible for um, gathering the info and what the info is, and then what do we consider success or noncompliance. And that is about a two to three page document. Would you be willing to head a subcommittee to develop a plan for us to uh, create this? If the committee decides that it's a goal and if the select board agrees with the committee, then um, yeah, I, I would be with some other real strong leadership on the committee. Um, you know, I have an incredibly chaotic life. So I try not to, um, I'm trying not to volunteer for things, but um, I would be willing to, you know, with one or two other strong committee leaders, I would be willing to work on this. 
do I hear a motion for anybody that we should follow up and take some action about this? I like the idea. I think it, it gives, it brings an element of science, you know, for those of us who believe science is real, um, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a platform to stand on, you know, it, yeah. it, yeah, it gives true. us a, a place to start and not just be fuzzy math, you know. Yeah, it's good to know are where we are so that we know where we need to go next. Margaret? Can you tell me why, again, Andrea, we need to go through the select board on this and not just have this as, I, I, might, I missed that part, I think. Well, my understanding is that we need to, we still need the select board to approve our mission and we still need the select board to approve the projects and goals of the committee. That we really can't do things without the permission of the select board. Yeah, I think, aren't, aren't we an arm of the select board? Yeah. I, I understood they had approved our mission when they approved our uh, membership. Uh, we can check on that. Uh, Christian probably knows and has access to the minutes of the meeting where it was approved. Yeah, I was I was on the call of that meeting. Uh, they they had an issue with a particular aspect of the mission, um, and I think they said that when we had goals, that we could submit the mission and the goals together, and that they would approve both both together. That's my recollection. Hmm. Yes, Margaret. Boy, it seems that if that's the case, uh, we we need to kind of get that list of goals together so that, uh, yeah, so that, you know, we can, uh, you know, hammer out what it is that we want to do and, and get the approval. And if we don't get the approval, I'm curious to know. I mean, that's me as a really interesting fact then in and of itself. Amy, you had your hand up. Um, it just seems like maybe this could be one of our goals that we propose when we go back with our mission statement and our list of goals that perhaps having this report that Andrea uh, has introduced could be one of those goals. So I don't know if we want to move forward with a motion to, to have this as one of our goals potentially. Uh, I'm not clear what that goal, how, how we would state that goal. Could you put that into a, uh, I can make a motion. I can make a motion if it's okay to, um, submit to the select board, uh, a committee goal of forming a subcommittee to research and develop a diversity, equity, inclusion report card to be used by the town initially as an internal benchmark with the approval of the select board possibly being used as an external report. Got that, Mark? No, but I'll go back to Hadley Media's recording. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. That's okay. Uh, everybody understand it well enough to vote Joanne? Well, I was just saying it would be nice to, since Andrew, you said you're working on something like that, to just kind of see an example. I'm kind of a visual person, and I don't mean right now, but that sounds really great. Yeah, if you just Google equity scorecard, oh, equity great. scorecard just... Good old Google. We'll oh, give you okay. some examples. <clears throat> and maybe even municipal. Um, I, I know other cities have documents. Okay. Do we have enough information for people to vote?
uh, I, I <laughs> we're not in a room where I can yes, see people's I, faces. So yeah. raise your hand if we can vote on this. That sounds good. Okay, so we have a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay, seconded. Uh, all those in favor, raise your hand. Sure. I see that it's unanimous. Yes. Good. Thank you, Andrea. Sure. While we're on the topic, are there any other members of the committee that are willing to, should this be approved by the select board, um, willing to work on this together? Pat, Pat? and Margaret. So Andrea, um, we had last week kind of formed a subcommittee for education. Perhaps we could contribute to that. Yeah. Um, so I already have the people's names who are working with that. Okay, awesome. So Andrea, Pat, and Margaret will be a subcommittee to formulate this, uh, what, you, what we just approved. And we'll work with Amy to incorporate uh, and develop this, which incorporates the information that Amy has and has given to us. And also Koki has given us some information, which I think I sent out earlier. So we have some statistics on the school system and the students. I'm sorry, okay. the, the committee is Andrea, Pat, and? Margaret. Margaret. And they're gonna work with Amy Okay. With Amy's subcommittee on the education side, right? Yes. Yes. So uh, we're ready to move on, I think, to the next item, which is Amy and Ada. Hi. Okay, so um, we just wanted to present some of the things that Diversity Club is planning for this year. Um, Am I lagging right now? Because my internet's not great. No. No, great. Okay. Know. So um, we have many things that we're planning, but I think two of them that are in the works as earlier things are kind of the most relevant for this committee, um, which is a community sign and also a set of courses, crash courses on some topics of interest. Um, Ada, would you like to talk about either one of those maybe? And then I can talk about whatever you don't feel like talking about. <laughs> um, sure. Um, sorry, my house is kind of loud right now. Um, the crash course things were like planning um, kind of presentations and videos and stuff that would uh, kind of educate people on topics that are relevant today regarding um, diversity and um, different things like that. Like some of our thoughts were a Black Lives Matter section that would have been a few different topics because that's kind of a big concept to tackle. Um, like the police aspect or the protest or something like that. Um, and we had a few other ideas, but that's kind of like the basic. And we were thinking of like what communities we would want to like put that out to besides kids at school. Um, and so, yeah, we haven't really had many conversations about it, but that's where we're starting, so. Ada, do you mind if I just add a little to what you said? Thank you, awesome. Um, so yeah, I think our goal is of course to appeal to the student body that these could be short tutorial videos, kind of like a Black Lives Matter 101, like if you need to know what it is and, and, and like need to know more information about it. Um, that kind of thing and as Ada said we were thinking of doing a multiple episode kind of uh, thing with that because that is a multifaceted issue um, especially it's moving very fast right now with the events of the summer and then we had also brainstormed a few other things that we thought that the students felt were relevant for the community and the student body to know about so the other ones that they had proposed were the in the internment camps in China that are occurring right now. Um, the immigrant camps at our border, at our southern border right now, and the events there that are transpiring there. 
And um, the fact that Massachusetts only federally recognized tribe, the Wampanoag tribe has recently, as of April, um, potentially lost its federal recognition from this administration. Um, so we're looking at a few local issues and then a few kind of global issues or country wide issues. Um, and again, the audience would be broader than just the student body. So even though students would be creating these, putting them together, trying to do it in an engaging way, we were hoping that these could be things that would be accessible to the wider community because the students felt that there are actually a lot of people out there who don't know about these issues or want to learn more about these issues um, in a kind of non-confrontational way. So um, that was, it's kind of our education piece mm -hmm. that we were looking to do. And then the other piece, campaign piece that we were looking at was um, the students perceived this to be a very divided time, a very divisive climate that we're currently living in. So we were thinking with our mission as Diversity Club, not only to educate, but also to unify, that we might try to do some kind of kind of lawn sign campaign in Hadley, um, where we were hoping to create some signs that say somewhat innocuous messages on them, like unify Hadley or some kind of campaign like that. Um, and then invite community members to display those signs as a reminder that um, despite people's many different viewpoints that we can come together as a community um, and that kind of a thing. And we were also hoping that would potentially raise awareness about Diversity Club, maybe potentially this committee, if the committee is interested in that. Um, we were thinking of pot potentially having a QR code or something on the signs so that we could attach it to a website so people could go for more information about some of these issues. So. Um, we have some other things in the works, including book club type things. So I think someone mentioned that, but um, those are two of our um, things that we want to work on in the fall. So I figured it would be helpful for you guys to know that. And if you guys had any feedback or input or, you know, anything that you guys thought that we could do to help serve the committee or that the committee might want to, to kind of join with us to do, I felt like I should like open it up. So, questions, yes. Um, Kayla. I just wanna say that I'm blown away with all these ideas, the, um, the creativity and the, the passion in them. And I feel like as a committee, I, well, I won't speak for anybody else. I would love to help in any way that I can to, to get you to where you wanna go with this stuff. So impressed. Margaret, you had something? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, Amy, is there any sense, Amy and Ada, um, that uh, 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 is there resistance by any pockets within the school? I think Ada could probably field this question a little bit better than I could, because I think the teachers are pretty much fairly behind anything the students do. So I think Ada probably has a better idea of the pulse of the community, so to speak. Ada, would you mind fielding this? Um, I wouldn't say there's necessarily resistance within the school, um, but like I know with things that we've done in the past, um, like events and stuff and our, uh, our potluck things every year, um, there's, it's less resistance and more just kind of like people, some people just don't care and they don't really see a need for it or um, like especially at Hopkins, which like it's definitely part of problem <laughs> is that they don't see the need for it but I don't think anyone I've never heard of anyone saying that uh, you know it's not a good thing necessarily um, so if that's any help for your question my response is just yay team thank you I'm, I'm very encouraged by that and uh, if you have specific things that this committee can do to help uh, I hope you'll let us know and keep us surprised of, of your progress and the things that you're doing. Uh, I'd like to be in touch with that. And as a member of the community, not just on this committee, but if there are things that members of the 
community can do to help. Uh, I know it's a school thing, but let us know. Any other comments? I just had a question, and that was uh, Amy and Ada. Last time we talked about us potentially having a survey or constructing a survey instrument that might go out to students to really try to get a sense of their experience at the school. Would, where, what are your thoughts about where we are with that? So for that, we still need to get approval from the superintendent. And then the principal, um, which I, I would assume that would be directed to the high oh, school, please. And the high school probably, not the elementary school, just because they're very young. I mean, we could also discuss that if we feel like it's an appropriate um, thing to raise for all ages at different levels. Um, but that's something that the education subcommittee would, you know, need to work on and propose. We're not quite there yet, um, but I invite any thoughts you guys have on who should, which stakeholders need to receive said survey and um, that might be helpful. So the concept has to be approved by the superintendent first? Um, it, it's unlikely that we'd be able to distribute anything to the student body without the superintendent giving us the okay. So just mm -hmm. on something like that, um, based on my interactions with her and work with her, I think it's very likely that she would support something like that. Um, but we, you know, have to go through that step and just make sure everything is done by sure. protocol. Sure, so to speak. sure, sure. Um, I will say that related to what Andrea was talking about earlier, one of the things that the teachers are currently doing um, as a faculty is looking at some of our data on, um, some of these issues of diversity. So right now we're examining students who take AP courses or honors courses versus students who don't. And also we're looking at discipline mm -hmm. and we're looking at that based on gender, based on ethnicity, based on socioeconomic status and based on disability. So some of that data might end up being helpful and she the superintendent has been very forthright about wanting to examine that data wanting everyone to think about that um so that's also something that we could that might eventually end up being part of our score so to speak but great i mean that's something that we could work on as a subcommittee this week great thank you excellent sarah yeah, I'm really glad to hear you mention um, all those other aspects, you know, disability and gender and blah, 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 because, you know, obviously right now race is a huge issue and we really do want to buckle down and work on that. But that doesn't mean that these other aspects of diversity are solved or not important. Hearing no other comments, uh, shall we move on? Uh, Mark. I'm just going to point out, Amy, you should see in the chat, I sent you a note. My daughter just burst in on me from Mount Holyoke, so I missed almost Ada's whole discussion. So I'm sorry, um, but uh, she's my only daughter, so I had, and I'm sorry if any of it was not on mute. I tried to hit mute. So, um, if you could send me your summary of your points, I will put that in the minutes. And I'm sorry, no disrespect. I take Mark, your, when she'll let me. <laughs> Mark, will you have access to the recording of this meeting? I will. Okay. Uh, I don't know when he posts it. Uh, you usually within 24 hours, I think. Okay, well, I just want to make sure, I'm, I'm not trying to keep you from talking to Amy, but but uh, I'm hoping that we all have access to this if we want to go back and play. Yeah, yeah, I, it, should have, it should be. Yeah. Good. And I was just, you know, I, was, I spoke to Amy, but I meant to the whole group, my apologies that I kind of checked out there. Life happens, family happens. We all <laughs> understand that. Uh, hearing no objections, I'll move on to the next. Uh, Margaret uh, is gonna to report to us on community leaders we might want to hear from. Margaret? Thank you, uh, and thank you to Devorah for supplying so much of this uh, 
uh, in so much of these many of these responses. Um, all right, so uh, the obvious ones are the superintendent of schools, the chief slash public safety. I'm um, sorry, Margaret, you just cut out for a while. Uh, could you go back over your list? Superintendent of schools, chief of public safety, board of health, the library, Council on Aging, the Senior Center, Parks and Recreation, Hadley Media, Select Board, Town Clerk, Town Cultural Council, which I believe includes the Historical Society, Planning Board, and I'm not sure who these people are really in this category, but is there a committee uh, that deals uh, with the businesses in the area? Uh, and if so, I'm not sure what that's called. Like a chamber of commerce or something Maybe. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know the answer to that. And that's the list. Uh, is there any ranking in there? No, but uh, also would be, uh, is there a commissioner on um, housing or uh, real estate? Uh, so, I don't you know, know. Someone who can, especially- there is, a, there is a committee on housing. There is a select board committee on housing. Thank you. I think the contact person for that one is Molly Keegan or Dylan, um, I can't think of his name. Okay. And I would appreciate anyone else's suggestions at this point then to include. My mind immediately goes to our one hour a month meetings and how we can uh, accommodate getting this information, uh, how best for the committee to get the information to hear from these people, mm -hmm. uh, and um, be some sort of ranking in what order do we need to get, would we want to get this information? Um, that's not a suggestion or a criticism, just how to take this large body of information we want to get and make it usable for the committee. Um, I just am very aware of our one hour a month, mm -hmm. <laughs> how difficult it, it is to get ourselves on a track of actually doing things. And uh, that's the natural business of the committee to decide now with these huge issues how are we going to affect this? What are we going to choose to do since there are so many options? So I would love to hear a ranking of these and uh, suggestions about how we might go about getting the information. That's not as chair, that's just as a member of the committee. Any other comments? Yeah, my other thought is, what do we want to ask them? And can we come up with a set of questions that we want to pose to them? What, why are we inviting them? And, you know, we have a limited amount of time. So can we come up with, you know, a number of questions that we want to ask to each of them? Sarah? Um, I'm wondering if we could borrow or adapt the format that we used uh, this past month on Joanne's little subcommittee um, where we were contacting other organizations, some of the other organizations in town. And like my job was to contact the senior center and basically I just clipped the six questions that Joanne had asked in her email yeah. and put a little introductory couple of sentences and sent that to the, per my, the person I was in touch with at the senior center and she passed it to the person who could answer the questions and we got back a really nice thoughtful email. Great. Um, I don't know if those exact same questions would be the ones to use, but um, something like that. Um, I don't think I'll see enough questions. 
If I did, I missed it entirely. Could those questions be sent to me? Yeah, I think, well, yeah, Joanne can speak to it. So, so at the last meeting, I had, let me see, what did I say? I would like to make a motion to have a community find out what other people or groups in Hadley are up to or thinking about regarding diversity, equity, inclusion, and anti-racism. So out of that, um, I, uh, Sarah had agreed to contact the senior center. And then I think Pat agreed to contact the, um, um, which was totally redeemer. Yes, exactly. Um, Ada was going to give me the name of who I could contact at the congregational church. And I had uh, composed a set of questions that I had given to Wayne before this was on the agenda. He asked me to just make a quick, a short motion. So those questions, I didn't send it out to everyone because I sent, I sent them to everyone on this, on this committee. So that's something that I could certainly share. Um, but they're all around, those questions are all around trying to find out what groups are already doing or planning to do. Um, that's different from like a scorecard or doing a survey. So on the, on the uh, minutes, I'm sorry, on the agenda last, that it was related but separate, these two different topics. So, so they're questions like, what is the group? What's that? If, if I can interrupt, oh, yeah. uh, let, let me go to uh, Margaret's suggestion for gathering information and then okay. ask for you and, and Sarah to talk about your, what, what you receive. Uh, is there any uh, motion to take Margaret's idea and turn this into, a, get a subcommittee to go to, to, to focus these questions and this survey uh, to move forward? Or shall we just leave it as a, a request that we do it? Go ahead, Margaret. Well, I, I, I think having this list might help us um, as we kind of just begin to gather data uh, I mean, there's, it feels like we are throwing a lot, casting a lot of nets out there. Yeah. And, and you know, with the purpose of, of trying to get as much data, et cetera, together. So um, from my perspective, and I'm willing to, uh, you know, to, to be changed on this. But at, at this point, I think right now, if we just identify who some of these groups are, then as we start to get more and more information, maybe then we can start to zero in and target some of some of these people. Um, uh, you know, I, 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 my concern is that, for instance, if we're looking at the scorecard, which I think is a great thing to do, um, you know that that there are not many of us on this committee, and I, I'm I'm trying to make sure that we don't just have subcommittee, 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 and and we can't really uh, you know uh, do justice. To well, it. So. my concern is that there's a lot of information we want to get, but no specific way to get it, and all I want to do is focus your your good questions and bring back to the committee for our next meeting or whenever we can, specifics that come out of your suggestions. Um, I'm afraid there's so many there that we're not gonna get any information. So that's, that's my urge, um, is to make this specific and move forward with it, yeah. So, so when I think of it and I look at like the superintendent of schools, like I don't, I mean, my thing is, uh, I, I'm not sure that if, if I started contacting the superintendent of schools and Amy is in touch with the superintendent of schools and, you know, there may be someone else is in touch from a different angle. Uh, I, I don't, 
I don't want to, uh, I don't want to have too many people, I guess, contacting the same people over and over again. And I think we need to streamline the process. I understand what you're saying about maybe ranking some of these things. And I'm happy to select, say, three or four of what I think would be the top choices. Um, uh, you know, but I'm careful about moving forward in a, uh, you know, you know, making sure that we're fairly well structured about our- That's, that's exactly my concern. Uh, I think if we focus that list and uh, decide and then go forward as a committee with our focus, we're gonna do one, two, three, and four, or one, two, and three, and here's the questions we're gonna ask, and here's when we're gonna ask them. I think that will help avoid the situation that you described. So that's my purpose in asking it. I think, I think we just need focus and make sure that we're not overlapping with anyone else. Shall we leave this where it is and then come back to it next meeting and decide how we're going to move forward? I am happy to uh, to winnow the list down, and um, uh, I don't know. Can I send this list out to people? and have people rank it? Or is that like not what I'm supposed to do? And I'm happy to just do it myself. Um, I think it might be more efficient if we had a smaller group to do just that task. Or you could send everything out to the whole committee. But that's a lot of people to communicate back and forth on email and to get a decision. I'm just looking for an efficient way to do it. The same thing. So whatever you decide is fine with me. Do I have other suggestions? I think it's a great idea and I think we have to do this to be informed and to decide what we're going to do that makes a mark. It's just how we're going to do it that I'm in question about. Mark? Sound? Being the middle child, I always like to play devil's advocate. So um, um, as much as I think it would lean towards efficacy to focus and narrow this down, unless we really know all these groups, which I don't, uh, you never know where you're going to find a gem of a response or uh, some information in one of those. So there's, you know, there's a risk in, you know, if we use a smaller net, we don't necessarily catch the big tuna. So just, I know, you know, but yes, we, we are a small, well, we're a large committee with large aspirations. And I, I mean, no disrespect to your effort to try and make us effectual. <laughs> Being an only child, I <laughs> I want I want to find a way to get some get it moving, and and I have to make a decision. Sarah, um, I'm wondering. Sort of looking at this long list that I jotted down, um, we might have different questions to ask of these different sort of components of the town. So I wonder if, you know, and sort of taking into consideration, you know, that we need to be really conscious of not doing committee business back and forth on email through the month. But um, supposing this whole list was in our minutes and part of our homework between now and our next meeting is for each of us to jot down what kinds of information we think we'd like to get from each of these people if we have any thoughts. And then uh, send that to Wayne or and to Mark so that it's all in one place, but we're not going back and forth with it. And then Mark and Wayne could sort of collate all of that and we could put it in the agenda you know, the, the whatever advanced document comes out before the meeting. So we all have a chance to look at it before the 
you know, the whole list before the meeting. And then we could, then we would, I think we'd have a better sense of which thing to start with maybe. I'm still kind of modeling this on what we did with Joanne's little group this past month where we had a set of questions to ask of these churches and the senior center and so on, which was a really small group, sort of an analogous group to this, but a much smaller and more similar group. This is a more disparate group. We're gonna have really different questions for each of them. Does that make any sense at all? How about it, Margaret? Is that a is that a good place to go with the information? Yeah, I mean, that I is? think so. I, I think Sarah is absolutely right that the questions I would ask uh, Chief Mason are going to be radically different than the questions I might ask Hadley Media. Right. Right. So maybe between now and our next meeting, we each jot down with the because we're not going to come up with them like that right now. But you know. A week from now, you're going to be cooking dinner and you're going to be like, oh, I need to ask, I wonder if, and jot it down and send it in, send it to, to Wayne and Mark so that it gets collated. Works for me. Okay. So that'll be separate from the meeting, from the minutes. Right. Um, I mean, it could also okay. be in the minutes, but whatever. I don't want to. It can be in the minutes, but uh, I don't want to take too much time list. with this. So we have right. to figure out the way that it, something gets done about it. I, I just right. want to make sure we can corral this and yeah. focus it and so, so that we're able to do something about it. Um, can we leave it there for now? And we'll get the information. We'll get the lists. We'll all get these, uh, this list of organizations. And we each formulate questions that we would like to ask to them and perhaps where to start. Is that suitable to everyone? Okay, to leave it there, Margaret and Sarah. Okay, that makes sense, Mark? Yes. Could I, perhaps I can send out an email after we are done tonight that everyone then responds to you and, and me on, and I'll list what I wrote down from Margaret, the superintendent of schools, the chief for public safety, board of health, council of aging, parks and rec, Hadley Media, select board, town clerk, cultural council, and the planning board. I mean, I can put that whole list in case everyone- And the library. Can... Oh, and the library, okay. And, and the housing committee. Right. All right. See? I had an ulterior motive for reading through that list. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Park, Parks and Rec is interested in what we're doing. I don't know if we're interested in them, but we've been that in communication the, with them. That's on the list. That's on the list. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Um, I want to make sure we, I'm still, as you gathered from my missives that came out about this meeting. I'm still learning the rules and regulations of town committees. Uh, is this something that, uh, Mark, you and I have to process and then send out with everybody um, blind copied to this? Can we work out how to do this legally? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure all this out. So I just want to make sure that we don't run afoul of the town rules. Yeah, I, I guess I'd have to check in with David and Carolyn. My thoughts were, if it was a call and response, please send this and they send it back and there's no discussion and decision making, we might be okay, but let me run that past. I just want to make sure, yeah. Okay, we have, um, we have 11 minutes left. Uh, so Sarah and Joanne, uh, Joanne, begin. Would you give us a report on what your uh, questionnaires found? Sure. So um, I um, I sent this out by email to the to I I didn't have a contact person for the congregational church, so I just went to their website to see if they had anything going on, and I sent the the questions to the email address they had on the site, and I haven't heard anything back. Um, 
I also went to the Wesley Church website, had tons of stuff that they're doing. I, I printed out their newsletter, and they've, they're doing all kinds of things. Um, and I got that off their website. I also emailed them, and nobody answered that either. Um, Sarah contacted, as she mentioned before, and they responded. So I, I, don't, I don't have any other um, names of other churches or groups, to, you know, contact person to contact. So that's as far as I got in terms of contacting people. Um, but both what Sarah said and what the Wesley Church, they're actively doing good things. So, um, De Devorah? Yeah, I contacted Nas, who's the clerk of oh. the Hampshire Mosque. Okay. And asked her, but I did not hear anything back. Great. Ada, were you going to, were you doing something with the church also? Did you find out anything from the church? Oh, was that Amy? Uh, oh, it was, sorry, not, it was not Ada. Uh, first Congo, I wrote sorry. down as Amy. I don't know if that was Amy or. No, well, I wrote down that Ada, I think she said her mom oh. was a member and was, she was going to give me a contact name. So yeah, Ada. sorry. I completely, completely slipped my mind. Um, and, my and, I, and I can email her because the, her, the, her email is the school and the school doesn't allow outside emails. Oh, so, but I think you can go to Amy and Amy can. Well, I did. Yeah, but yeah. Whoops. I can't hear you, Ada. Okay. So... But um, it, it's, I, I don't, I imagine with all these contacting, whether it's these different boards and that some groups are going to respond immediately and enthusiastically with things they're doing and others might not. And I'm okay with that because, you know, we're, we're just getting started. So I was pleased to see that, that these two different groups are, are really up on, on this issue. Amy? Um, I might be able to talk to Nancy Yaman, who is a kind of community organizer and is also an active member of the mosque. Um, she had actually also contacted Diversity Club, and maybe this is something I should mention to you guys, um, about wondering if maybe we could get a peace poll erected for the town of Hadley, which if you're familiar with peace polls, they're kind of all over the world and represent that community's um, of commitment to global peace and unity and all that nice stuff. So um, that was something that I was going to bring to Diversity Club, but also um, might be something to bring to the town of Hadley. Um, so she's very enthusiastic in general. She's very busy too, but I would be happy to reach out to her as well and see if um, she can give us some insight or contacts uh, with her faith community or I know she also works with other faith communities so mm -hmm. I can get her in touch with you Joanne. Oh yeah. I think I know her. Oh you yeah. do? <laughs> no, well no I'm not in I believe that while my daughter was at Hopkins they connected so they they know each other that's how I know of her. Right, her boys, her boys both went to Hopkins, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah, I don't know her real well. My daughter knows her better. Sarah, do you have information to give us? You're muted. Oops. You're muted, Sarah. <laughs> um, I got a really nice email back from the Senior Center uh, talking about all the things that they have been doing and are doing and would like to do. It was very exciting, and again, uh, addressing uh, diversity, not just of race, but of age and income and et cetera. So that was really, it was really wonderful. I don't know if you want, I don't think we have time for me to read the whole email, but. Um, Could you somehow send that to us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. send it. Yeah. I sent it to Joanne. Yeah, I don't I know if it. I sent it to everybody else. Uh, it'd be very helpful for all of us to have that okay. information. Yeah, please do yeah. that. Okay. Uh, Mark. Um, and Joanne, I did reach out to um, my um, Unitarian Society of Northampton and Florence, and she told me who the person is that heads the social justice movement there. So I will reach out to her um, and see if she has any members that are in Hadley that we could um, ask for input. 
Yes, Pat. And I did talk with the uh, person who's the chair of the parish council at Most Holy Redeemer. They meet the third Monday of the month, and she's going to bring those questions up to the group. So by our next meeting, I'll, I'll have a report. Great. Thank you. Devorah. You're muted. Devorah, you're muted. Thank you. I reached out to uh, Dr. Demetria Shabazz, who heads up the Amherst Racial Equity Task Force, to see if she knows people who live in Hadley that might be resources for our committee. Um, she said she did not know of any, but that I could post it on the Racial Equity Task Force Facebook page. So I still need to do that. I spoke with Shell Horowitz uh, at Devorah's suggestion, and he came up with some questions um, that we might consider, which I can report on next time. Um, they will fold in. I can't find my notes at the moment, but uh, they will fold in with all the other questions that we're asking in different committees to contact, uh, along with Margaret's list. Um, we have four minutes left. I'd like to reserve two minutes for committee stuff. Any other comments on this? Thank oh, you, Bella, I, but I didn't I, quite understand Bella's comment. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'll... <laughs> Bella is um, the dog, Margaret's dog. Yes, Sarah. Yeah, I now that we're starting to have information and responses coming in, I'm wondering if as a committee, do we have any sort of repository for this accumulated wisdom, like a Google Drive folder or uh, I don't know what? Wow, that would be great. That would be that really good. It would be, good. you know, in keeping with the open meetings, uh, does the town website have a place where we could have a folder to just put stuff? I don't know. Oh, Mark, could we have a Google out. folder that's attached to our minutes? Where yeah, our, I'll, I'll ask David if we yeah. need to do that on the town servers or if we can do it just out on Google. Um, as and, long as we have a link to that on our minutes. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, our minutes and, and should, stuff should be in there too, because suppose a year from now somebody new wants to come on the committee, they might want to review our our minutes and what information we've gathered. Very good. Excellent. Um, I, I do need to ask this uh, formally. Uh, an hour seems like a very short amount of time for us to meet to me because we have a lot to do, uh, but it's a lot out of people's busy days. Are we formally still limiting ourselves from 515 to 615? Is that something you want to continue? Or uh, can we be flexible about that? Or should we formally say we'll go until 630 uh, and see how that works to give us more time? I feel very rushed. I feel like uh, we have a lot of information coming into us and are going to have more as we decide. Uh, and we're building a database. These seem very complicated to me, which don't compact very well. I would propose that we say we're going to meet from 5.15 to 6.30 in the next meeting to see if, if that can work and we can get more information out. Uh, how do you feel about that? Okay. Sure. Yet. Would you, can I just get a quick yes or no? We're not approving anything, yes. but yes. Yes. Raise your hands. I was going to say 90 minutes, but yeah, 75 is better. Okay. And better than 60. Thank you. Um, let's start with that. And if we see that we need more or we don't need that, we can always change. But that makes me feel a little bit less pressured about our meeting. Joanne, you had your hand up. Oh, I was just going to say that I think I'm the one who wanted us to start at 5.15 because I wasn't done work and it's working comfortably. I could do like five after five. I mean, I just wanted to throw that out. Um, 
and I also just wanted to mention that I, are we supposed to approve the minutes? Yeah, I was going to ask because I got in and he was already, you guys were already into the first item. I was going to uh, ask if they were approved. Yeah, or I, I wrote that down and just went right over it. Sorry. Uh, I, I brought it up because I just wanted to make a clarification under under item three, where about getting stories from um, people in the community. Um, letter D, which speaks to my subcommittee, that was actually a separate, it wasn't actually getting stories it was getting information what people are doing okay. so on the original uh agenda there was a 3a and a 3b so okay. i just wanted to clarify that our subcommittee is is not doing the same thing as we were reaching out to find what people were doing so that's a new item say like item four and then yeah. I'll, I'll bump the numbers and that, and that was all just to clarify that that, that was uh, do, reaching out to get different information. And if anybody wants to have all those questions that I, that Sarah and I were talking about, I could just send that to everyone if people want. Would you Would you please send it to Mark and me? Oh, there you go. And he's gonna mm -hmm. he's gonna discover how we get information out. That's very good. The legal way. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the minutes are good. Yeah, we can send we can send emails to all of you as long as everybody is blind copy mm -hmm. right. and it will show us from me and mark but those are the only names that will appear mm -hmm. so everybody would get it but we just can't send it out to everybody with their names showing i show that i'm yes pat um, i would just like to add that that 3b um in the minutes yeah. that the local college faculty is actually related to the same point that Joanne is making, not to survey them about lived experience, oh. but to look upon them as someone with whom to partner. So okay. maybe, Mark, you could put that under four. Okay, got it. Thank you. No? Thank you very much. Uh, I hate to admit it, but we're two minutes over the time that I should have closed this meeting. So... I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved. Second. Uh, Bella seconded. <laughs> Margaret seconded. <laughs> moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Or show your hands. Thank you very much. It's good to see you all. Even